This is Ranger Kidwell Ross, editor of WorldSweeper.com, executive director of the World Sweeping Association. We're here at Civinex 2016 in the Hawkesbury uh, outside of Sydney, Australia. And I'm here with Glenn Fuller, and Glenn is the New South Wales sales manager for Schwartz Industries, uh, Schwartz Australia. So, Glenn, thanks very much for uh, talking to me about this sweeper. Uh, tell me what we're looking at, please. Thanks, Ranger. Uh, this is the uh, Schwartz Industries A4 Storm. Um, three and a half cubic metre regenerative air sweeper. Uh, this particular one's mounted on an Isuzu uh, FRR 500 chassis, and uh, we'll have a look around it. All right, looking forward. Okay, uh, starting from the beginning, we in here we have a 51 horsepower Perkins uh, turbocharged uh, diesel engine, uh, which is uh, driving our um, our fan system. Uh, we have a little bit of a uh, a deck for the daily for the guys for the daily cha uh, the daily checks with a step system which pulls out of here. Okay. Uh, that just gives them a convenient access to get to the uh, uh, do all their daily checks and also for the mechanics to um, keep the maintenance up of the machine. Mm -hmm. That's the safety. Uh, moving down and along, uh, we have our 900 millimeter um, broom broom system here on the on the uh, right side of the truck. Uh, basically, on it but has all the features of most of our uh, Swatch units. So we have here a uh, the Geo system, which is a gutter extension override, which allows the broom to move in and out uh, to various uh, settings, besides obviously coming out and up and down. Um, water system, uh, we have two, two sprayers well, there. Nozzles here, huh? So uh, keeping our uh, dust suppression. All right. Moving along, we have our 2032 millimeter uh, sweep head, uh, regenerative air, as I said. So that's adjustable in height. We have a double acting ram lifting the head up and, and actuating it down. Uh, 305 millimeter up. Uh, that's a high pressure down tube. Mm -hmm. And then obviously on the coinciding co side we have the 300 millimetre, 305 millimetre uptake tube. Um, tungsten carbide uh, skid for heavy duty wear and um, a heavy steel gauge uh, suction box. Mm -hmm. And this has, uh, is it uh, standard shrouded or is this uh, is st shroud standard in Australia? Yes. Uh, okay. Yep. Inspection doors, we can look inside uh, yep. so we'll there. what we'll see. But, oh, yeah, we've got enough light to see. Light. Um, stainless steel hopper with a dust suppression system mm -hmm. and also a dust separator flap there. Yeah. And then the chains uh, coming down for. Yep, for the, uh, high impact stuff. And then we have our screen up the top as well to uh, keep the debris from getting through to the fan. Yes. All right. Convenient large uh, toolbox lockable for the uh, for the guys out in the field. <laughs> Moving around to the rear, we have uh, LED lighting as standard um, and uh, high tip. So we, these guys in Australia like this machine, so they can actually tip into a uh, rear load garbage compactor. The uh, LEDs have sure made a difference, haven't they? Absolutely, and uh, the um, auto electricians are far, far prefer <laughs> yes. those. Or... Indeed, so on this particular unit, because it's a, it's a, it's optioned up with a, um, a high pressure uh, washer there, so the hand lamps running off a dynaset pump. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Uh, some of the safety features. Uh, this is the uh, uh, for the uh, the prop for the uh, hydraulic ram when it's in the up position. Mm -hmm. If this machine was had, it, it is uh, an option, can come with a uh, wonder hose, hand suction hose, which would go into those to blank off the points there, yeah. and would be mounted on the side. Coming around now on to the left hand side which is uh, the would be the recovery in the up up suction side of the uh, regenerative air head. Uh, as I said 305 millimeter tube, nice and wide, uh, reduces blockages. As you can see coming from the bottom we have an easily accessed uh, water system. The strainer is in here so for a day, 
uh, the operators would check that daily, clean that strainer out. Mm -hmm. Very important so they don't get the uh, blockages in the nozzles. Um, and the, it's a mirror image on the, the left hand broom uh, from the Are right. Are they uh, standard with uh, dual brooms? Yeah, in Australia it's in standard Australia? with dual brooms, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. fuel tank system and uh, the hydrant water filler to fill the um, uh, 495 litre water tank. Just go around and have a look at the console. Okay. It's gotten windy. I'll, I'll close this door here. Some of that out. Yep, nice and uh, nice and operator friendly um, control panel, which is uh, one of the the most uh, talked about features from the operators. It's not too fancy, nothing over complicated. Starting from the very back, we run a series of um, circuit breakers here, which are nice and easily reset by the the operator. We come into our engine management system, which would uh, give us our alarms and things like that for the various. Uh, um, uh, things that are written on uh, our gauges, obviously, um, yeah, volts, RPM, uh, water temperature, oil, mm -hmm. and then coming across, it's they've kept it nice, very nice and simple. Top row of buttons is all the water system, so that uh, we can turn on or off uh, different combinations of uh, water for the dust suppression um, and the water pump on and off. Then the next next row down, we basically have our lighting system predominantly. Uh, for the LED working lights and the beacon and then on the far left of this we have our our uh, bleeder valve for the uh, regen air to bleed off or uh, for heavy and light debris so uh, settings mm -hmm. and uh, this one because it has the option of the high pressure water it would also give us um, turning it on and off there um, next row down we basically get our functions for our uh, sweeping um, system Left hand side would be our three three brushes to operate the left broom. So the geo in and out, the tilt, which is uh, tilting left to right, and the actual uh, left brush up and down. Mm -hmm. And then the corresponding on the right side, the same buttons, which control the right brush. Into the center, we have our, uh, our double rocker for our up and down of the hopper to dump. A 12 volt auxiliary pump in case we lost um, uh, uh, power to the actual auxiliary motor we can use a an electric pump to uh, to do any of the functions and this is our up and down button for the actual sweeping head itself and then we also have um, a uh, shaker motor uh, which is double acting bottom bottom switches for the floor and top switches for the uh, screen shaker uh -huh. And the only thing left really is uh, which we, how we control our revs is um, the throttle here which controls the revs for the back engine um, which can be set accordingly to depending on what debris they're trying to pick up. Okay, and uh, oh, it looks like you have a... a yeah, this um, machine, it, this has a standard um, three camera system so we have reverse camera, left and right brush. Well, thank you very much, Glenn. Uh, much obliged. And uh, how would somebody find you on the internet if they wanted to buy half a dozen of these? Thank you, Ranger. You would contact uh, www.swartz.com.au. All right. And that's uh, Schwartz is spelled? S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-E. All right. Thanks thank so you. much. No worries.